Let's take a look at ERCOT's grid so we can see where we stand right now. We usually like to see the line separated. We've got supply and demand. Now, right now, they are apart, but of course, there are some parts of our area that are already losing power. As we take a look now at that, uh, we're taking a look at CenterPoint's outage tracker with supply meeting the demand. There's still power outages across Houston, but these outages are a result of an issue for CenterPoint and not issues with the state's power grid. Our investigative report show Mercedes has been monitoring the grid today. Cheryl, how does wind and solar power play into the grid? Well, Len, wind is a big part of the equation. And look at how low it is right now, this navy blue line, a low wind day. It is the second largest source of energy in Texas. So it helps move those turbines. So when it's low, it's not a good thing. Things can get moving on the grid and it gets tight. Now, the good news is, is that it is sunny outside. So that means our solar farms are working overtime. Energy expert and environmental engineering associate professor at Rice University, Daniel Cohan, says a close call like this may have been a real problem two years ago, but solar energy could ease the strain on the grid in the near future. We're adding solar farms so fast that I think by next summer, by 2024, um, we will have so many solar farms added that we won't have as many close calls as we have uh, this year. But, but for the rest of the summer, we are at risk of some close calls on our hottest afternoons. And it's not even August yet, like you said. Cohen says that demand will likely go up. So these conservation efforts will be key in avoiding brown and blackouts in the next couple of months. Len. Wow, Cheryl, what about the traditional energy providers, you know, natural gas and coal? Oh, yeah. Well, some of our gas and coal plants are about 30 or 40 years old. Then there are some that are not even online right now. Well, how much? Just to give you a little perspective, I asked him and Cohen says it's about the equivalent of a few cities worth of electricity that we are down right now. Very, Len? very dicey times we're yeah. dealing with with this relentless heat. Joe Mercedes, thank you.